This is my Pachachka presentation on natural swimming pools. About 15 years ago, my husband's company, Total Habitat, which specializes in building zoo exhibits, built an otter exhibit. So impressed were they with the water quality, they decided they should start building them for people as well. This is an example of one of the natural swimming pools built by Total Habitat. It has a deep area in the middle for swimming and diving, the sides being reserved for shallow beaches, plants, and rocks, which act as a biological filter. Unlike traditional swimming pools, with white concrete bottoms and chlorinated water, natural swimming pools have clean, clear water with no chemicals whatsoever. This approach allows them to design pools that look as though they were made by nature. Natural swimming pools clean water through a carefully engineered cycle. Water from the swimming zone is continuously pulled through a planted biological filter by a pump, which forces the water over a waterfall and back into the swimming area. Other features include a dock or pier for people to get in and out of the pool and skimmers which pull leaves and other floating debris off the water before they sink to the bottom. Natural swimming pools are dog friendly. Cats may find them interesting too. At the heart of the cleaning system is the biological filter. Just as this process works in nature, it is employed for pools. Dirty water passes through special gravel which houses beneficial bacteria. The bacteria consumes organic waste and oxidizes it into harmless substances which fertilize the plants. The plumbing system of the natural swimming pool looks like this. The green lines are suction, the blue lines are supply. The water flows continuously throughout the system. This natural swimming pool is a typical medium-sized pool. If you look closely, you can see the underwater wall that separates the swimming area from the biological filter area. This pool was built in 2003 in Derby, Kansas. This natural swimming pool was built to look like a naturally occurring swimming hole. There is no underwater wall separating the swim zone from the filter zone. Instead, the filters are built into the walls and floors. These clients wanted a very small natural swimming pool that fit the size of their yard, yet large enough to splash around in with their grandchildren. Many natural swimming pools are built close to the house, such as this one, making them enjoyable all year round. In 2002, Total Habitat published a book on natural swimming pools. It is a complete how to build guide for anyone interested in building their own pool. If someone lacks the courage to take on a do-it-yourself project of this size, they can use the book to guide a local water garden builder to complete the project. We begin the building process by drawing the design right to the ground. The red line indicates where digging will begin. The client can then see exactly where the pool will be. This is a picture of the same pool after digging is complete. At the far end of the pool is a short stream and waterfall which falls into the deep end of the pool. The shallow swimming area in the foreground has a built-in biological filter. The entire pool is lined with an industrial liner that is expected to last over 50 years. Liners are preferable to clay or bentonite, which are often used in farm ponds. The liner is then covered with special rocks that don't affect the water quality and protect the liner from punctures. Here is the same pool completed. Notice the stream and waterfall at the far end and the clean, clear water. This pond is unique in that a block wall was used both in the pool and landscaping. This composition features interplay between natural and man-made elements. 
Plants play an important role in cleaning the water. They absorb nutrients and give off needed oxygen to the water. A wide variety of plants are chosen for natural swimming pools, including water lilies, lotuses, sedges, and grasses. Plants like irises grow both on land and in water. Streams like this one can be part of the natural swimming pool project. A stream is a good filter in and of itself. Beneficial bacteria live on the surface of rocks and clean water as it passes through. Here they have integrated the water feature and the deck, making it difficult to tell which came first. Many little elements can come together to make a project fun. Here the waterfall, stream, and bridge all contribute to the overall pool project. Total Habitat encourages clients to have a few fish. They are enjoyable to look at, are part of a natural system, and can stay in pools year-round. The same natural swimming pool technology can be used for commercial purposes, such as the one shown here. This is from the Wichita Water Walk development in downtown Wichita. The project features eight separate ponds and streams which appear to be connected. Natural swimming pools have multiple uses and can be enjoyed by all.